Hi, my name is Amit Shah. I'm an orthopedic consultant. I've been working within orthopedics since about 22 years or so. I've been doing just hips and knees as a consultant for the last eight. I deal with everything within hips and knees. I deal with young patients with hip and knee problems that need keyhole surgery injections, right to the people who need joint replacement surgeries. I do about 250 to 300 joints in a good year. And I love what I do because it makes the quality of life difference to get people mobile and up and running again. My main focus to all my patients is always about delivering a diagnosis first. They come to me because they want to understand what's wrong with them. And that's what I want to do. I want to examine them. I want to conduct some investigations, find out what ails them to start with. Some of them may need surgery. Some of them just need some understanding, some physiotherapy, some simple injections. Sometimes just let time do its bit. But for the younger age group of people with early wear and tear, keel surgery can be an absolute miracle in changing things. Once the arthritis and the pain in the knee becomes severe enough or significant enough, or it's a global problem within the knee joint, it's quite a waste of the patient's time rather than mine of delivering keyhole surgery because it's not gonna make the kind of difference that they're looking for. That's when the difficult conversation comes in. Do we leave matters alone? Do we discuss joint replacement surgery? But obviously, I, my job to start with is always to understand expectations, explain the pathology using x-rays or scans to the patient, and then give them the choice of what they would like me to do. So why do most people choose to come and have a hip and knee replacement under my care? Most of them do that because their symptoms have reached the point that they have no quality of life left. They can't walk the distance they like, they, don't, they can't drive as easily as they want to, they struggle changing postures, getting into beds, putting socks and shoes on. So we don't offer joint replacement surgery lightly. We, we know that this patient has now reached the point that we need to do this. So if you came in to have a hip or knee replacement under my care, the usual practice is you're in hospital for a couple of days. Most people don't need more than a night or two in hospital. We've got a fantastic group of therapists and nursing colleagues that work with me here at Exton and within the Ramsey group that support that. Most people should be up and about on their feet within 24 hours, driving within a few weeks and feeling quite independent. And we can make sure they do that.